Welcome to Microsoft Access Expert Level 13, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class focuses primarily on action queries and update queries specifically. But we'll begin by learning about report where conditions. This is where you can open a report and specify conditions in the button that opens the report so you can show a single record, multiple records, records between two dates, and so on. We'll see a couple of different examples today. Then we'll learn about all the different types of action queries, update, append, delete, and make table queries. We'll spend the majority of time in today's class focusing on update queries. We'll build some simple update queries. We'll change a company's name if it's in a particular state. We'll learn how to use functions inside our update queries to assign sales reps based on what state they're in to each customer. We'll go through and fix mistakes in data entry using update queries. For example, capitalizing all of the names of our states and setting the first and last names to our customers in the proper case, which is the first letter capitalized and the rest of the name lowercase. We'll see how to use queries to add 5% to all of our product prices, for example, and how to update all of the paid orders in our system, mark them as shipped, and set a ship date. Tons of examples in update queries in today's class. This class follows Microsoft Access Expert Level 12. I strongly recommend you watch Level 12 and all of the previous classes before that, before starting today's lessons. Level 12 focuses primarily on report grouping and sorting levels. You'll see one example of how grouping levels are used in the first lesson of today's class. This course is designed to be used with Microsoft Access 2013. If you're using 2010 or 2007, you shouldn't have any problems following along. All three versions are pretty similar. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should be okay with today's class. I did cover most of this material in my older Access 222 class. I covered update queries in that lesson as well. All the topics and the concepts in today's class are the same. The menus are a little different, however. So if you're using 2003, look for my Access 222 class. My courses are broken up into beginner, expert, advanced, and developer level classes. Beginner level classes are for novices. You should understand all the topics covered in them by the time you get to the expert level classes, which you're in now. When you finish all the expert level classes, the advanced classes will cover event programming and macros, and the developer classes will cover Visual Basic for applications. Each group of classes is broken down into multiple levels, level 1, 2, 3, and so on. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders and running a service business, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, creating loan amortization schedules, and lots more. You can find details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course in the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class video. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to join in the discussion. If you are not watching these lessons on my website, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning 
or tell me what's wrong in the student forum, and I'll do my best to help you. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access may seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now I strongly encourage you to build the database that I build in today's class by following along with the videos. However, if you would like to download a sample copy of my finished database file, you can find it on my website at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. Sometimes if you get stuck, the easiest way to learn is to tear apart someone else's database. One of the ways that I taught myself access years ago was by tearing apart the Northwind Traders database that comes with Microsoft Access. You'll find there's a sample database for each of my courses on my website. Now let's take a few minutes and go over exactly what we're going to cover in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to begin by reviewing the homework from last class. We'll make an invoice based on report grouping levels instead of a subform. And we'll learn about open report where conditions, where you can print batches of records in a report, such as print all of the orders for the particular customer. In lesson two, we're going to learn about the different types of action queries, what they are, what they do, and when you should use them. And we'll talk about backing up your data before running action queries. In lesson three, we're going to look at the action query type that you're going to use most of the time, an update query. In lesson four, we're continuing our look at update queries. We're going to learn about a couple of different string manipulation functions ucase, lcase, and string convert. In lesson five, again, we're continuing with update queries. We're going to learn how to add 5% to all of our product prices and mark all paid orders in the system as shipped and set a ship date. 